So you swipe the clothes right off the line? They're still wet. Do you have any idea what it's like trying to get dressed while you're running from an enraged husband? Oh, yeah, I do it all the time. I find out the next day he was a cop. <gasps> What'd you do? I called him up and told him I'd have him arrested for possession of stolen goods if he didn't return my clothes. Oh, and that's what you get for fooling around with a married woman. Hey, she hit on me. Oh, sure. Well, it was mutual, but if I'd known her husband wore a badge, I wouldn't have said two words to the lady. I have this thing about living. I want to keep it up. Well, I guess that means that I'm safe. Untouchable. Not only is Frisco a cop, he's a bud. I don't cross friends for any reason. Besides, you guys are so, you know. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Yuppie. Ah. No offense. None taken. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being subtle. It's just, it's not for me. I, I gotta operate out there on the edge somewhere. What? Yeah, Frisco's the same way. He came very close to having a lifestyle like yours. Close only counts in horseshoes and dancing. He still doesn't know what he wants to do. Well, what do you want him to do? Remain a cop. Bad as it is, the alternative is worse. Be careful, or I'll have to arrest you for impersonating a park bench. How you doing? How am I doing? Well, as exciting as it may seem, I'm taking a little stroll through the park, trying to pick up my quota of litter bugs and jaywalkers. Is that what you're doing here? Actually, I was sort of taking a shortcut. Thought I'd put the cuffs on a few trees, do something exciting. What about you? You got a problem with Anna? Yeah, who else? Have you talked to her that? For all the good that does. What happened? Well, I saw her and I... I begged her to come back to her. You got a big no, huh? Yeah, well... To be frank about it, if we hadn't been at 30,000 feet at the time, she would have walked out on me. As far as she's concerned, I'm history. Kind of thrown in the towel? I'm not going to do that. She's the only woman who ever meant anything to me. I've got to get her back. Oh, well, jail wasn't so grim. At least I got to meet Blackie. That's one dude that's definitely out there. So I hear. Oh, he was always pulling these pranks. Oh, you wouldn't believe this one stunt we pulled. What? It was Christmas time. Now, prison food is funkier than you can imagine, but they do throw a pretty decent Christmas dinner. The problem is you need a microscope to find the portions. Blackie and I were always so hungry, so we figured we're going to have our fill, the best meal of the year. Well, why didn't you just ask for seconds? Well, it wasn't enough to go around once, much less twice. If you didn't con a few calories on the side, you starved. Anyway, a few days before Christmas, Blackie and I borrowed some sound equipment, and we taped a prison riot. What? It was a phony one. We got all these guys in the weight room hollering and carrying it on, but if you didn't know any better, you'd swear that all hell had broken loose on the cell block. So just as everybody's sitting down to dinner, we played a tape over the PA. All the guards and most of the inmates cleared out of there to see what the hell was going on. Lucky and I had our feast and everything on the table. <laughs> I don't see how prison could hold the two of you. No, we were having too much fun to break out. If you believe that, I've got a solid gold watch I'll sell you for five bucks. Well, you do what you have to do to survive. That's the way it is anyway. You didn't know Blackie at all, huh? Well, not personally, but I've heard lots of stories about, about him from Frisco. Oh, he Thank was you. the best. You know, I think you can count the people that really matter in your life on the fingers of one hand. At least I can. Blackie tops the list. It must be really tough to get to know people and then have to move on all the time. Well, it's not so bad. You find the people you like, and you, you stick with them. No, I think a guy can do without a, a home and family, but without a friend, he's a ghost. Me, I'm solid. Flesh and blood. <laughs> that you are. And I'm glad you drifted in. I better, look, I better get going. I've got a lot to do before we go to the club tonight. Can I help? Would you like to pick Frisco up from work? Mm, I think I've had about enough for the police department. Oh, I'll do it. I need the car anyway. Listen, why don't you come to the club with us tonight? No, no. 
Uh, I'll sit this one out. Why? Oh, it's not my scene. I'm... Besides, I haven't a thing to wear. You don't seem like the kind of guy that wouldn't go because of a dress code. Oh, I don't want to embarrass my new friends. You can wear one of Frisco's jackets. No, I'll pass. You guys go. Have a good time. What are you going to do tonight? Tonight, I'm going to plan my next move. Are you planning on leaving so soon? Every man needs a plan. Tonight, I will work on mine. <laughs> 